My name is Bria Bradley, and I consider myself a brown-skinned woman. My name is Michaela Denae, and I consider myself a light-skinned woman. I would say now I feel comfortable in my skin tone, but when I was younger, it was very hard for me to be comfortable in my skin tone. It took a lot of self-love. I think I am comfortable in my skin tone. I think it's other people sometimes who have a problem with it. My skin tone means to me now that it's, it's always a statement against the norm. Every time I walk out the house, I really like how I look and I like, you know, the, the hue of my skin. But I think it's other people who just have such a huge opinion about like how light I am. And with my skin tone now and the confidence I want to exude and the same confidence that I want another little girl who looked like me to have, I picture it as a badge of honor, be like, yes, we're beautiful. Look, this can be you one day. I feel like my skin tone evokes other people's uh, opinions and how they feel about it. And they feel the need to um, express it and tell me. My skin tone has made me who I am because, it, well, it's influenced who I've become now because I have to have a tough skin, to, a skin with a lot of people who speak to me. To me, my skin tone is like a historical diary. My skin tone is the reason why I've developed so many good coping mechanisms when I meet people who don't like me and they ha are comfortable in giving me unsolicited opinions of theirs. You know, I consider myself light skinned, but like, I don't really know. Like, I see people that are like lighter than me. Um, but I know that, you, you know, when I'm around black people in general, they just consider myself, they just consider me like so light and I just don't even actually see it in the mirror. When someone says, oh, you're beautiful for a black girl. Then you have like white people who are like, oh, you're not that black. And it's like, oh, oh, like, you know, you're, you're, um, you're barely black or something like that. And it's made me an activist. It's made me speak out because this is something you live with every day and it's not something I can ignore. That's what this, you know, amount of melanin in my skin like equates to. It's kind of to me like a good math equation. When it comes to black women who are on the lighter side of the spectrum, I celebrate it. My mother is lighter than I am. And I think she's the most gorgeous woman in the world. And my father is quite dark. And I think he's the most handsome man in the world. We are good looking people. Sometimes I feel like it is harder for them to get accepted because they're like, <clears throat> oh, you're doing a white thing or you're doing Something like that, but for me, I, I don't feel like people consider it that way. I think people just are like, oh, you're just an other, so you're doing other things. So it doesn't make me envious. When I was younger, I must say, I used to go to bed wishing that I looked like my mother because in the 2000s and early 2000s, the norm was not me. Well, I think that sometimes there's like a um, like a separation between me and darker skin women. The norm was lighter skin. In general, I feel like they, a lot of the times, have preconceived notions about me judging them instead of necessarily them judging me. I've had family members who said, don't go out into the sun because you'll get too dark. I just think that there is always kind of this like atmosphere of untrust. If I could change my skin tone, okay, this is completely humorous, but I also made some meaning. I would make it darker. I would love the added melanin protection of the sun, especially with climate control. You know, in the winter, I am quite light. And, uh, you know, it's pretty bad. Um, <laughs> but if I can't, I'm very comfortable with being myself. There's a certain amount of acceptance that comes with when you're darker that I can't get. If you ask younger me that, she would answer that differently. I don't think I would ever want to be able to pass because I don't see myself as a white woman or I don't see myself connected to the white community at all. But sometimes I do find myself not wanting to be in this like middle. Younger me, I wish I would wake up Korean. <laughs> I wanted to be Korean so bad. If God came today and was like, you have a choice to be lighter or darker, would I, you know, would I take that, that wish? Probably not.